I'm Amy E. I'm here with Scissor Boy, and we're going to be interviewing Fernando Guzman at his studio, her studio, 28. So what I'm going to do is going to uh, make more defined highlights, because the highlight that once you have already does to think, I'm going to make a little bit more thick highlights to get more lighter in the top, and keep the same color in the bottom, because I like it nice and, the nice and bright color on the bottom. Oh the, yeah, the it's beautiful. Is this natural? Yeah. Or no, it it's dye? not. It's dyed. But so, I think she did it like about a month ago. Okay. But if you look at the color, it's still health, healthy and color It's on very it. healthy. And yeah. so can you show us the texture and the width of the highlight? Okay, well, the texture, actually it's going to be more um, techniques, Technique. easy, because she had long hair. Normally the, the client they don't want to spend a long time in the salon. So the, what I'm going to do is making a big, like a chunk highlight is going to make you more defined in the, the style, more young in style. What's important to know about sectioning before you start a highlight? Uh, the, the, the really important to know about the section for the highlights that's when you're looking at her face, so it's, she's come with a natural color. I mean, she's the natural texture of the hair. She don't blush, she don't use blood dry too much. Um, I just want to let it hair down. I see right away the part of the head is over here. Right, so that's her natural that's hairline. That's her natural hairline. And so you want to highlight based on where the natural hairline is, uh -huh. as opposed to where you think it should go, right? Yes. So working with the hair. Your clips there. You know, Scissor Boy has clips. Okay. They hold a lot of hair. Oh. And what are you using in your bleach? What I'm using, I'm using a little bit of the violet tone. I don't want my highlights turning yellow or orange. So the violet tone already is here with the pre-liner. So when I take out the highlights, this comes with the color already. I don't need to work two times, like bleaching first and then toner and then color. So yeah. I do um, all in one. So I'm gonna start in the back. Okay, the, the good things about this section, the triangle stuff, because they this is gonna be my guy. I get the guy around about an inch. And this is gonna be the whole like highlights is going falling all the way down. Because if you do the highlights like a zigzag, some of the highlights is gonna be a disappear because the head is not even. Mm. Some head is break. Yeah. I just wanna get a bigger so size of the highlight. Chunk. The whole chunk, yeah. So you did triangles all around and then you went in and you found your triangle mm -hmm. and that's all you're going to be highlighting, mm -hmm. right? All or are you going to do triangle. another layer? No, another little bit at the top, it's going to be in the top. And then down here, are you going to do I'm what you're doing? I'm going to leave it and put it in color to make the color even. You're going to put color and then you're going to color this part? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so what are you doing? So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the color. Uh, it's going to be gold and copper brown. So you're gonna put gold and copper, and brown, copper brown on the whole head. And the whole head, because she's she do she we we're gonna cover the highlights, the rest of the highlights, and we're gonna cover the same color to get more bright and more tone. Okay, okay. go ahead. Fernando has washed her hair and blow dried it straight, and I I was a bit concerned because secretly I thought he'd turned. I thought he'd turned her hair grey, but could you explain that to me again? Why okay. it looks a bit silver. Remember when I when when I first started I telling you I'm gonna use violet to keep the orangey and yellow away. So you put violet. violet. The violet is turning is going close to silver, going close to platinum, because the pre lightning it's uh, like the bleach with a little bit of violet is turning like platinum and blue and violet. Because she's got such natural like dark hair, 
when she, when you put the violet in, it brings it to closer to what you want yeah. rather than an orange. Yeah. Now, while, while orange looks good on my shirt, it doesn't look so good on the hair, uh -huh. does it? Yeah, it does. But what can we do to it to make it look great? Um, we do an updo? We are going to do an updo. We're going to do an updo. I showed you techniques to do an... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the same texture of the hair she has right now, not curly, not totally straight, because we use a blow dry only and a little bit of brush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the updo without curling iron, without flat iron, just only baby pins and roll it How's that? That sounds great. So okay. no, no straightening, no curling no iron, curling no iron. extra heat, because we're not damaging the hair, only bobby pins and rubber bands. This is going to be my first section. I'm going to use a roller band here, OK? Wow, can you show us how you did that? OK. Yeah, because you just made like a knot in the rubber band and then you attached mm -hmm. the bobby pin to it. It was very MacGyver. So you wrap the linked mm -hmm. rubber bands around each other and then you stick mm -hmm. the bobby pin and through then. and then you tuck it in through the ponytail. Okay, because so if you nice don't use the bobby pins, use the rubber bands, the rubber bands is going to break your hair. Oh, so instead of tightening it around, yeah. you wrap it with, and then a Secure it with the bobby pin, mm -hmm. and so then it doesn't break your hair. Yeah. And we'd like that. That is so pretty. You can just see like how a veil would go on. Look. The hair dry is not the one that's holding my hair and my fingers. The holding hair and my fingers does when you twist the hair. Right here, when you twist it, you hold it. Then you hold it again, you hold um, it again. And then finally, then it's like a circle. Hold it again. Now it's like circular. I see. And then put it anywhere you think you need more cover mm -hmm. the frame. And then you finish this one off, and then this one goes it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. All right, so let's let you finish that, and then we'll see what you do with the front, OK? OK. So the back is two ponytails on top of each other and then coiling it around your fingers and then pinning it into... Without curling iron, without flat with, iron. Without flat ironing. Just the finger updo. Just, this is the finger updo. Fernando's finger updo. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit body here because I don't want to get too flat. Yeah. So I'm going to tease a little bit here. And they're gonna pull this all the way down. That is beautiful, and you can really see what you've done with the highlights earlier. Are you supposed to see the bobby pins, or are you supposed to hide them? No. You're not supposed I'm, to see the bobby pins. Hide them as much as possible. Oh, and you do a little one. That is so cool. And it just blends in with the rest of it. Push it around with your hand a bit. Nice. Okay. The final curl. And that. That is my finger up to. And that is his finger up to. Okay, spin her around so we can see it. Okay. Let's see. Yes, the finger. The finger up to. Well, thank you very much, for Fernando. Yeah, it looks okay. great. And we'll see you soon. Okay. Can you thank give a you. snip snip? Snip snip. <laughs>